Good morning, I'm Matt Sizemore. First daughter Ivanka Trump and Apple CEO Tim Cook are headed to Wilder, Idaho today. They'll be stopping into the school district to learn or to look at how it's working to implement more technology into their curriculum, such as the district's 2016 partnership with Apple and Sprint to provide every student with an iPad. Six on Your Side donated books to the school last fall, and we learned about their unique curriculum from the district superintendent. The Boise State Broncos will host Fresno State in a rematch of last year's Mountain West Championship game. Before we turn our attention to that game, the Bronco coaches want to praise Bronco Nation for helping to defend the blue. Bruce, uh, Boise State opponents have 20 false start penalties on the blue, and that's the most out of any stadium in the country. And last Saturday, fans created an electric atmosphere. Let's do it again. Have the blue rocking this week, get the fans out there. Championship week and make it a great atmosphere. Um, hopefully that's our advantage when we go play and our guys will respond. You know, they really enjoy that and that's a, a big key for us in our success. For more information on tickets for the conference championship, head to our website at sixonyourside.com. Well, today's another unique day for shoppers. If you're looking for a gift that gives back to those doing something thankless uh, in the community, Giving Tuesday, Giving Tuesday that is, is an opportunity to support local nonprofits. It's a chance to give in someone's name or to plan a last minute gift before the end of the year. And some local nonprofits are making things interesting for prospective donors. There's really no minimum for getting involved. And so even a five or a $10 gift can make a huge difference for a nonprofit. So it's a great way for anybody in, in the community to, to give even just a little bit. A little bit goes really a long way for all of our nonprofits. If you're wanting to give to a local nonprofit and want some guidance, check with the BBB and Charity Navigator to confirm your giving to a trustworthy organization first. Time now for checking the On Your Side forecast. Rachel Garceau is standing by with what we can expect. Hi, Rachel. Hey there, Matt, and happy Tuesday, everyone. The good news for today was that this morning wasn't quite as breathtakingly cold. The bad news is that's because we have clouds that have persisted over the area and then kind of a wet and wild day ahead of us. The Pacific Northwest has been getting hammered with inches of rain, and all of that precipitation will sweep into the gem state today in the form of snow above 5,000 feet and rain below that. We just expect those showers off and on throughout this evening. They'll most likely pop up by mid morning. Some spots though could see some showers as early as this morning. Those temperatures stay cool and the wind will be blustery at times. So maybe not the best day to be outdoors if you can help it or if you are headed out and about plan on getting wet and a little wind blown for your Wednesday. Some fog is possible in the morning. We do dry up briefly in the valleys though on Wednesday and temperatures take a little bit of a jump. A high of 47 degrees tomorrow. We stay in the mid 40s on Thursday, but that rain returns late and it will be mountain snow as well. We have another wet day ahead of us Friday with rain and snow showers across the region. Then we dry up but stay cloudy and cool for the coming weekend. For your very latest news and weather headlines, be sure to visit 6onyourside.com.